Hey, I'm Shannon from Shannon Tax Yarn, and today I'm going to talk a little bit about a problem that probably most of us have, and it's our yarn stash and yarn organization slash disorganization. I started out my yarn stash with really good intentions, but I've tried to grow my yarn stash so that I have things um, on hand um, to be able to use frequently to start a project. And I don't know who the people are who just buy yarn for a project and then that's all they have. That's crazy to me. Um, kudos to you if you can do that. Um, but I think most of us are on the other hand where we have tons and tons of yarn and it tends to take over the room that we have it in. So um, I just want to kind of share this journey with you of, you know, how it got out of control and then, which it isn't really that bad, but it's, it's kind of bad. Um, but then just about how I am going to reclaim my room and get my space back and actually be able to see what I have. So I would love it if you join me. The other day I started to go through my yarn stash and try to start organizing it. And instead I managed to destroy the whole room. <laughs> now that's one room and uh, the second bedroom here, um, you probably recognize I do film in here a lot of the time. Uh, since it's become my filming room, I've kind of destroyed that too. So I was a little frustrated and um, we, we are empty nesters. So I have two bedrooms in my house that we don't um, use all the time but we do like to have guests over at times. So I need to reclaim these and get my self-respect back a little bit. Um, so I did a little research and a while back I had looked up and um, gotten into the channel Clutterbug. It's, I don't remember her last name, but her first name is Cass. And I took her test and she's got some different styles about cleaning. And what I liked about her is she specifically talks about how you're not lazy. You just haven't necessarily found your cleaning and organization style. And mine is much different than my husband or my daughter. I like things to be easy. I don't like to see a lot of visual clutter. And I have noticed on some of these ladies yarn videos, how they have these beautiful, beautiful organized yarn stash behind them. And that will never be me. I can't do it. I can't do it. <laughs> so I need something simple and I need it out of the way because again, these have to be functioning bedrooms for guests. So part one of organizing my stash begins now. I'm gonna take you through the mess I have in bedroom one. So I should point out, here's where I film, here's leftover projects right there, and back around here, I have got some bags of yarn. As you can see, I started collecting them and trying to categorize them and put them into those bags, which if you watch my Dollar Tree, like, I can't remember what it's called, but I will link it here. If you watch that, you'll see that, um, I do actually like those. Um, they are good at kind of corralling that. It's easy. It doesn't have to be micro organized. There's some of my Joann's haul in here. I've got some of my Hirschner stuff. So this needs to be gone through. Um, I did just film this pile here of finished objects. Here is some more finished objects. <laughs> All right, so there is that. A cameo by Dixon right here. Walk through this way. And now before we go in, let me tell you, there are some other craft supplies here. <laughs> so here is a pile of stuff that, here's some yarn from a blanket project I was working on, but I've got fabric and some other stuff for a project I'm working on for our campers. So, um, this is a loom I picked up and haven't done anything with. This was an attempt at organizing probably six months ago. I had these containers on hand and thought something was better than nothing, but that in fact was not true. So I pulled all of these out of my closet, 
because they are not working for me, as you can see. Um, here's a box that is from Joann's and I shoved some totes in that I potentially would use. Some books about yarn. And here is my yarn closet. So as you can see, I have made some attempts here. I do like my shoe storage thing. Um, that is nice for those big one pounders, but I've got like stuff in here that sh doesn't need to be here. My daughter's prom dresses. Um, and then you can see I did make an attempt at organizing these, but the problem is I needed stuff on the bottom. Oh, and there's a bunch of my daughter's stuff up there. So I could take those and use some of those would be very helpful to have that space. Um, but yeah, the problem I have with this yarn storage is that when I wanted something at the bottom, um, it just, it did, it made a pretty big mess. So over here, I bought some giant laundry bags from Dollar Tree and they are, they are giant, almost a little too big, but I've got a work in progress in there. I've got work in progress here. Now this looks worse than it is because I have some pillow forms <laughs> and some blankets underneath this. This isn't all yarn, um, but yeah, I started working on organizing this. Uh, the yarn scraps, that's that's not gonna work. So I think I just wanna put, I don't wanna toss these out because I there's enough that they're still usable for small things, um, but maybe just in a clear tote so I can see it. So as mentioned, we'll go around here, and then I have got down here on the floor uh, where I have organized some of these yarns. Like I've got one that's just Christmas, um, one that's just cakes, one that's fur, um, some big twist, um, you know, similar. I tried to keep like items. So I am going to go back and watch a few more of Cass's videos. Um, judging by that, I know I am a butterfly. So this is my container and it will have a door on it so that everything can be confined behind there and it won't seem like a bunch of clutter to me. But once inside the container, it does have to be easy for me to access. So you can see I have my work cut out for me. Um, I would like it if you would stick around if you want to subscribe or if you just want to check back in on me and my progress and see how I'm doing, see if I accomplish my goal, see how long it takes me to accomplish it. Um, we will see. Wish me luck. Thanks, guys.